Good morning uh, and a very warm welcome from what is a wet and grey day here in Sussex this morning and it seems for most of the UK looking at the news this morning. Um, I do hope that this session will look at you know that how we trust plays a key part in the DNA of any business can add a little brightness to our days today. So this is our third virtual event this year and the second of our panel discussions exploring how we can effectively provide leadership in the new normal. In today's discussion, we're going to hear from our guests from different businesses about the impact trust has on effective business relationships. So for those of us, uh, for those of you joining us for the first time on one of these sessions, I'm Alan Thompson. I'm one of the directors of Customer Tuned, and I head up the, the people capability side of our business. And I'll be chairing today's session with our panel. I'm delighted that we've been joined today by three guests, David Haley from Atos, Mumbi Adami from Brand Merchant Bank in South Africa and David Brown from Kavea, as well as my fellow director, Dr. Mark Holyoke. So David Haley joined Atos in 2014 as a client executive where he led the recovery of the DWP personal independent payment contract and thereafter he was promoted to the Atos UK and Ireland Executive Committee, leading the delivery and the growth of the £500 million business transformation services division, which includes National Savings and Investment Bank and Aegon. Mumbi joins us from um, RMB, where she is the head of human centered design, responsible for building a client led and design led capability for the organization. She was one of the first of three certified customer experience professionals in Africa, and she has used this knowledge to drive systemic client centric thinking wherever she has worked. She has diverse and significant experience in the financial services industry. And our third panel member today is David Brown. David joined Kavir Insurance in 2016 as the head of Northern Region for commercial and high net worth client business, where he was responsible for P&L growth in the north of England and Scotland. In his current role, he now leads the development of broker and end customer propositions in the commercial business and therefore understands the critical importance of trust in business relationships. And joining them for today's discussion is Dr. Mark Holyoke, who proudly attained his doctorate earlier this year on the subject of B2B trust. So Mark's research has been given academic accreditation on how trust plays a vital role in business relationships and proves that it has a direct effect on commercial success. So today we'll hear more about it from Mark and also from our guest speakers. So over the next 30 minutes or so, all three of our guests will be sharing their unique insights and their views on the trust factor as they adapt to drive their business forward in the challenge environment in which we're all currently facing. Dr. Holyoke will add his own insights to the discussion, utilising some of the research and findings from his recent doctorate into to be to be trust. So I think with, with that in mind, Mark, before I actually come to our guest, I think it'd be very useful um, to get you just to set the scene by sharing what is meant by trust in a, a business to business context. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Alan. And um, welcome, everybody. Um, just a little bit of... Uh, academic theory before we move into the real practical elements well what is what is trust in a business to business context um, well it's the willingness to be vulnerable to another party and the decision to engage in actions based upon an interpretation of their ability credibility and the expectations of mutual value exchange over time and that encapsulates trust within a business to business uh, context or construct. And, and we're going to be talking about, you know, the trust factor. What is the trust factor? Uh, and why is this important in a business context? Well, actually, the trust factor is, in fact, your, your B2B trust DNA inside your organization. It's the DNA that binds all your customer relationships together. Um, it, and it ensures that contracts are renewed, the orders continue, uh, and it ensures that, that, that mutual value continues to be created. Uh, it demonstrates your credibility, and without it, life would be very, very difficult uh, and very, very transactional. So it's this, it's this concept, to a certain extent, that's... that's that led me for the last five or six years to study this study this subject, and you know, um, and no one really predicted what we what we were going to be going through, and a lot of strategies and plans got thrown out the boardroom window when 
when faced with, with real uncertainty and challenge. Um, and one thing that is, one thing that is uh, certain going forward is where companies uh, have great trusted relationships, those that don't, it's going to be, they're, they're going to be standing worlds apart. And without trust at the core of your company DNA, um, you know, it's going to be very, very difficult to create that mutual value going forward. Those that are you, the, the, of you, those of you who received the, the new zine and have got it there to, to have a look at, um, what I've done is I've unpacked that DNA model into digestible sound bites on page seven of the magazine. Uh, we sent it to you a few days ago. And, and actually what you might be able to see as you go, as we go through this panel, uh, are our guests talking about certain elements of that model and you might be able to relate that to, to the discussion. Um, before I hand back to Alan, I want to ask you and consider three key questions. The first one, so if you're going to invest time, energy and money into a but now you, that it will deliver what you intended. And do your customers have the ability to take on board your insights and turn them into mutual commercial benefit? And lastly, how many joint working solutions do you create with your suppliers? Or if you're a supplier, how many are you doing with your customers? So I'm going to hand back to Alan now, and uh, we're going to hear from some of our some of our panel. That's great. Thank you, Mark, for that um, contextual introduction. I think that was really, really valuable.